Tower of Fantasy is an open world MMO game where you can pick between a female or male character and you can customize these characters in any way you want. I find it really cool that you can use this game to create almost any type of anime character that you've seen from any show and it also allows you to share it with other people. I'm going to show you a system here that they actually show you where you can see other people's creations voted by a popular. So obviously first year you get like these presets that you can start out with, whichever one you want to begin with. Okay, you pick one, you amend it, change it. You know, there's a lot of details. But if you go to the popular tab here, you can see there's ones like the likes of 2B over here, if you know who 2B is. This one is really damn cool. I really like this one. It looks like there's Kuching over here from Genshin Impact. We have what looks like rough time from the shield hero we have Hinata from Naruto and that looks like CC from Code Guess. I don't know if any of these are other characters that I'm just not recognizing but let me go closely here and look at the different characters here there's this one over here with the blue and the pink hair we've got Hinata from Naruto dude like this is this is pretty cool if you want to be Hinata dude you, you can you can do it right now there's Raftalia as well I think she looks a lot better in the actual picture like the avatar than her actual character looks like in terms of like matching the character but it's still pretty damn close so of course, like any good human being, I decided to go with 2B, but I decided I'm gonna change her hair up a little bit, maybe, you know, put a unique twist on it because I feel like a lot of people are probably gonna pick this preset if it's shown to many people. And I'm gonna go with the long ass ponytail. Let's just find one. If we can find a nice long ponytail. Let's see, is it this one? Nope, that's still short hair. This one over here. There we go. I like the physics with the hair. It looks really cool. That looks really awesome. I'm really happy with this choice and it makes me feel like my character is really damn cool. Now to talk more about the game, it is very, very, very similar to Genshin Impact. You can even tell from the color schemes, it almost looks like I might be playing Genshin Impact if you didn't know any better. If you didn't know Genshin Impact, you could easily confuse this game for, for that as well. Though it is quite different from Genshin Impact, it still follows the very similar theme. The combat is basically reliant on you changing different weapons rather than having different characters. You actually have different weapons, you, you upgrade them, you enhance them, you give them extra stars. It's your typical gacha game where it is completely online this time, so that's really cool. You can see players out in the world all the time entirely just doing different stuff. You can party up, you can change channels. It is an open world MMO with all these systems at play. Just think of an MMO version of, of Genshin. Like, honestly, there's, there's nothing more that I can compare it to than Genshin Impact itself because it feels like I'm playing a Genshin Impact clone with a little bit of Breath of the Wild. Even the map, dude, looks like it's from Genshin. Now, even though it is very similar, I do think this game has its own life force. It's its own game. It does it really well. It feels like it's, you know, it's quite good. I'm, I've been enjoying playing it and I'm probably going to continue playing it and make some videos on it. And hopefully I get some good damn weapons, please. At least I don't have to farm characters and weapons, dude. Nice. Let me guys know what you think of the game. If you have tried it, if you haven't tried it in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.